This one should be on the green. David, this one is right at the flag. This one's up and it's headed for the right side of the green. Looks like a good shot from here. It's drifting to the right, but it should land on the green. Not a bad shot, but not a great one either. Going a little right. Fairway Faraday, he's got this going right at it. A really good looking shot here. Looks wide right, but should settle on the green. He knows this is a good shot. Now that's close, really close. Well, it's hard to find anything good to say about this one. Tap it in to finish it off. Poor strategy, poor execution, uh, poor everything. Or from that, it was perfect. Yeah, poor effort there. I think uh, that's being kind. Looking at a big birdie putt here. Sinks the birdie putt. A double to drop two shots. Five is a long strip. Doesn't get any straighter than this. He's got to like this shot. This is right on target. This should be all right. On the green at least. This is where a good stroke comes in handy. Get off the map and the compass, it's a long way to the cup from here. Not an easy putt here, this one's more like an expedition. Let's be clear. The object is to get the ball into the hole. Man, it's not the worst shot I've seen today. It's not the best either. Double bogey, now that'll drive you nuts. Got the birdie! The sixth hole is a par four that presents most golfers with a quandary. Do you brave the expansive bunkers and narrow fairway on the tee shot and go for the green in two, or lay up and play it safe for the even par? This approach looks good. You can't do it better than this. I mean you, McCord. You can't do it better than this. Fairy, not bad. Not bad at all.
cash is that one in? This could be close. Oh, I like the looks of this shot. Well, this one had a real chance of going in the hole. This could be a problem, although there will be a little more fiber in the diet. This looks good. Should hold on the front edge of the grain. Love that. That's fantastic. You might want to try a new putter, or maybe even a wedge or something, because this putter isn't working. Rolls in the birdie putt. Where'd you learn to play golf? The school of slow motion? Come on, swing the club. It's time to knock this one in for bogey and move on. Buck, all runners advance. That's really hard to do. Stop your swing mid-action. Ugly double bogey on that hole. The eight hole. I'd be happy with this drive. This is where you need to take out the big dog. Go for the green. This one split the fairway. It's a beauty. I hope he can find this one. swing on this tee shot. Look out for the rough. You'll have to make a good shot from here. Well played approach. This could be very close. It is indeed rough, but it could be much worse. A uh, two putt would be quite an achievement from this position. That's not quite what we were looking for. Miss this and you're looking at a bogey. I don't think so. I think the wind must have got a hold of it. Finds the cup for a birdie there. Well, this one was stone, motherless, dead. Just this little miniature effort now to conclude the hole. Ooh, not a great effort on this putt. This to just get to the next one. He just missed it. I've seen many poor putts in my day. This ranks right up there. Slow down, ball. Okay, well, we got all of that one. This putt is going to break right. Well, it's tough to overcome nasty putting like this.
Hole 9 is a straightaway par 5 with a nasty bunker that winds its way into the middle of the fairway. Strong drives from the tee enable a second shot to go right over the bunker, but lesser drives usually require a more circumventing strategy. Errant approach shots are punished by the two bunkers that line either side of the green. I don't like the look of this. Ah, uh, that's unfortunate. This is going right where he wanted to head it. Ready to plan the sand? Looks like a nine iron. Well, on a scale of one to ten, that would be uh, about a minus four. Now that's close, really close. This for par. Oops. <laughs> Maybe it's time for a new shiny putter. Give this one a wrap down the left hand side and it should trail off to the right of the hole. This is some of the worst putting I've ever seen. Might be just as well to forget this hole. If this one goes in, it's par.